Hello, I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Welcome back. On one of our earlier videos, we talked about the importance of using good quality water, whether it's tap water, whether it's bottled water, distilled water, or whether it's uh, water that you've run through a system, clean all the contaminants out. That's the most important thing. Right now, we're going to talk about how to check TDS, total dissolved solids, and also include your pH balance. So the first thing you want to do, we talked about this in an earlier video, is you want to check out the pH balance of your water. But more importantly in this video, we're going to talk about TDS. We're going to use a simple TDS digital meter. And by the way, we sell those on our website at modularhydro.com for less than $40. They don't break the bank. And trust me, this TDS-3, it's worth its weight in gold. We're going to show you how to use this thing today. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and start with using distilled water because we broke it down to the point to where you either want distilled water or some sort of reverse osmosis system, okay? You want to put all the contaminants, the chlorine and all the, all the, all the not so good stuff out of your water, okay? That, that's really the building block and the foundation of starting your hydroponic system. So we're going to go ahead and check the TDS. I've already added one and a quarter teaspoons of my favorite plant food. And it doesn't matter what plant food you want to add to your water, okay? But your TDS meter, and this thing is worth its weight in gold, it's going to tell you how many parts per million is in your water. I'm shooting for close to a thousand parts per million. So I'm going to turn my meter on. I'm going to insert it into my water and just stir it and you want to give a good 8 to 10 seconds. Okay, you want to make sure you dislodge the bubbles and you simply do that by just stirring the meter lightly. Make sure there's no bubbles. Look at your meter reading and make sure it stabilizes. Hit the hold button, shake it off and read it. Okay, we're at, uh, we're at 900 right now. So I'm where I want to be. Now, now that I've done that, I want to go ahead and check my pH. You always want to adjust the pH after, and this is important, after you add your nutrients to your water. I've got my nutrient level where I want it to be. Now I want to check my pH. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some water up, put that into my vial, and you can use a, a pH digital pen. I'm still old school. I've been growing for over 32 years. So I'm old school. I'm going to use the old test kit that I'm used to using in my pool, okay? And I'm gonna swirl that around, and let's take a look at that. Oh, that is just, I'll tell you what, that the pH is so low, it's gotta be 4.0. So I've gotta bump my pH up. Okay, I've got two choices. If your pH is up or pH is down, you can use several different products. PH down, which you can buy commercially at your hydroponic store, okay, is going to be acid. That's going to bump the pH back up. But let's say you get your system home. I don't care who you purchased it through. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to adjust your pH. So it's either pH up or pH down. Today, I've got to go the opposite. I've got to go pH up, okay? My pH is way down. I've got to bring it up. Here's a household product, and most of you have it in your house. It's called baking soda. I'm going to add just a minute amount of baking soda to adjust my pH. In this small amount of water, I'm just going to add maybe a half a gram. Very, very little. Stir that around, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and take a new reading and see what that comes out. So let's go ahead and pour that in our vial, add our pH solution, okay, and we're getting there. We just dropped it down to about 7.0, so let's add a little tiny bit more. Swirl that around. I'm showing you an alternative. If you have to bump your pH down, you can simply use lemon juice or vinegar. It's available in just about every household. 
You don't have to go out and purchase pH up or pH down. I'm showing you alternatives on a pinch. So let's go ahead and recheck that. Add our drops of our pH solution. And we're about 6.5. So I can go ahead and add just a little tiny bit more of baking soda and I should be done. So we'll do that. One more test and we're done. Okay. So it only takes about two or three minutes to do this. This is not hard to do. It's actually quite simple. And you can use household products to do it. You don't have to go out and buy expensive items to do this. Okay, we're right there. We're right around 6 to 6.5, somewhere in the medium, and we're done. That's all there is to it. Now that we talk about the importance of using good quality water, and that's the, remember, this is always the building foundation of your total hydro, hydroponic system, how your plants are going to grow. More importantly, you want to make sure you check your pH. You want to test that. You also want to use a good quality meter. And by the way, we have these on the website at modularhydro.com. They're less than $40. They're uh, very simple, one touch button. Tech, it, it'll, it'll check your TDS, total dissolved solids. It'll also check your temperature for you too, by the way, which is pretty cool. And it really is very important. We cannot stress enough that you have to use good quality water, whether it's your tap water, distilled water, or whether it's uh, bottled water, it, it, that's your choice. That's your starting point. You want to use good quality water. We can't stress that enough. So again, I want to thank you very much. I hope you got the point across. It's the building block, the foundation of your hydroponic system and how your plants are going to do is using good quality water. Make sure that when you add your nutrients, add them first. Then check your pH. Adjust your pH accordingly. Then go ahead and dump that into your hydroponic system and you're ready to grow. And by all means, we invite you to visit our website, modularhydro.com. And more importantly, importantly, we encourage you to grow green. And of course, we hope you grow modular hydro. Again, I'm Wayne. Thank you very much.